Hello and welcome to episode 7 of our Laurent campaign. In the last episode, we continued on our mission tree, just taking all of our claims that we have had around the area, and now we are going to be going to war with Lyseon, trying to gain the cores back for Rubyhold, which we uh, diplomatically vassalized after we kind of abandoned them, to be fair. But you know what? All is fair in love and war, and uh, we're going to get lots of development for free for aggressive expansion-wise. And we also need to take these two provinces, which is like 50 development, which is going to be an incredible amount of aggressive expansion, and we already have a lot. So, yeah. We'll see how that goes. But, gotta do what you gotta do, right? Uh, in fact, there's one thing I can core right now. To make a full core, that's Winefort, which is okay. Uh, yeah, and I think we're just going to jump right into this war. Uh, I don't think there's anything else that I wanted to do beforehand. No, there is not. We have a lot of money. Is there any buildings that are worth building yeah we have a couple sure let's build those up that's for you uh we'll hold off on that manufacturing for now lots of things that i could state up but our governing capacity is almost at max so best not push it uh and let's go for a reconquest of ruby hold awesome so let's move you in we don't need all of you on there you guys can just take I don't know, like the three troops you need and the one uh, cannon. The rest of you can move on forward. We'll put the three siege guy on here for now, just so that gets done a little bit quicker. And yeah, we'll move in. Perfect. Uh, and I think we can actually speed five through this war. I don't think it's going to be much of a problem. Now we are way, way underneath our force limit. So let's go ahead and change that. Make a 25 stack. Yeah, 20 and 5. That seems good to me. Mostly infantry, not too expensive, but still is going to uh, bump us up a bit. Seems that Westham has entered into a coalition against us. Ooh, they're allied to Buslar. Okay, well. Ooh, okay. Uh, either I declare this now, and hopefully stop it, or I have to fight a huge coalition. Now we're allied with Wex, right? Yes, we are. And Wex owns core provinces of other people, don't they? They do. So maybe we let this core or we let this coalition fire, and then we kind of sacrifice Wex and we force him to give a bunch of stuff back. I think that's gonna be the plan. That's gonna be the plan. Alright, they do have a lot of troops around here. We could probably pop out. And uh, attack them. Ooh, no, they got away. Where are you going? You're going to Middlewood, so let's chase them into Middlewood. Nope. Yes. Okay. They were a little indecisive about where they wanted to go there. Nice. A little stack wipe. Pretty good. Here's the other 20,000. Let's bring them up north. Actually, we'll wait for the cannons. They're still coming in. Uh, and if I want to return the cores, that is... 10 aggressive expansion and if i want to take the two yeah we can't we can't do that no we can, we cannot do that a maybe just a number but coalitions are lots and lots of numbers that mean men that we have to fight we may just be taking back what we need in this war for the reconquest which is fine i mean i'd rather take a lot more but it's not worth dying over right not worth dying over uh let's go ahead and jump on these troops they're halflings, so they are not going to be a problem. Not going to be a problem in the slightest. Now, this is the Seon itself, but uh, we'll chase them off the fort here. We'll go and try and catch these stacks out. Nice, we have taken the, uh, the capital. We'll send these guys around. They can jump on this fort. We'll send our uh, other cannons up onto it as well. Just try and get more siege ability. That's always a good thing. No reason to sit on sieges if you don't have to, that's for sure. All only cost manpower. Uh, we'll lose the Germany reform progress. I'd like my stability. I would rather not lose that. It is a very good thing to have. Okay, still not quite there yet. That is a wipe. Now let's go loot this province for a little bit. There is 17 crowns of loot, so we'll we'll sit here. We will make some sweet, sweet money. General has died. We're still waiting on this siege right here. Not a big deal. You can move forward and reoccupy this. Weston wants access. I'll give it to you. Uh, nice. We have won the first siege. So let's make sure we transfer that over to Ruby Hold. I don't want to pay for the fort. 
Seems kind of dumb, in all honesty. Now we just sit here, and we chill. And we go speed 5. Because I don't need to be here for too long. I'm not really worried about people attacking me or anything, so... We're good just to chill. Woodwell. As a, uh... Yeah, an evil, evil ruler. Okay, interesting. Uh, vassalizations. So... Who can I vassalize? Oh my god. Okay. So we can vassalize a lot of people. You would vassalize red scale. That's not really worth it though. But people that are in this area, I'm more tempted to vassalize. Like you lair, that would be good. Armari Temple. You could do that. Napes Bay. Sesteronde. I mean, you lair has two cores. A very high value course uh but you really don't like me that's the problem you really really don't like me uh people are disloyal duran well we're gonna have to go ahead and placate local rulers we are integrating them right now so hopefully that brings down everybody's liberty desire by a lot because they have uh, a lot of development so makes them makes everybody a little bit disloyal more than i would like them to be all right, Rivergate is fully sieged down by us. Switch that over to Rubyhold. Uh, bring all of our troops here together. And we will attack into the mountains. It will be a stack wipe as they are completely trapped. All right, now let's go and deal with VPEC. That should not be a problem. We'll probably need to build one more cannon. Let's do that. Just so we have 10. That way we get the maximum amount of siege ability for these lower level forts. Uh, and we will split you guys up. Now, Xmas, I would like you to return your core here. 7A, uh, that's okay. And give me war reps, max money. That is good. Yeah. And give me more um, prestige. I can get 10 prestige. Not too bad, not too bad. Thank you. Uh, is this fully looted? It is. So we'll move you onto there. And you can move to one of these that has some loot. Do you have loot? Nope. Lysand does. Capital. Has a little bit of loot that we can pull out. Truce with Ruby Hold is over. Well, that's not really going to be a problem considering, you know, they're ours. Uh, let's switch over and have you held by Ruby Hold since it's theirs. And if I can grab this one little guy. There we go. We'll bring him over to this 30 stack. Won the Siege of Saltmarsh. Bring you guys over and send both of these guys in. And that should be a wipe as they have nowhere to run. Perfect, perfect, perfect. And we can just leave the two cannons in charge and back up. Fortunately, we did lose quite a bit of cannons in that fight because I did not send them in at the same time. That's okay. Uh, Telgir is 41 years old with no air. Tempting. All right, Royal Marriage with Abusalar is up. Let's go ahead and get that back on lock. Uh, collect benefits over time or just money? I'll take the money. Hmm. We could get our dynasty on their throne. That'd be pretty sweet. That'd be pretty sweet. We'll just siege everything on down. Rand, can you just not, man? Stop making me spend my prestige on you. It's really annoying. All right, VPAC, uh, I am going to need stuff from you at some point, but for now, we will simply ask for money and war reps. Do you have any strong allies? I don't want you allied with Wex, and I don't want you allied with Reveria. Everyone else is fine. I don't much care about them. Perfect. Now, when's my truth with Reveria up? It is up in 1519. I may want to go and take money off of them. Like, they're super weak right now. They don't have any allies. Uh... And I would like money, because I would like to start getting lots and lots of things upgraded, like these centers of trade. I'm in the middle of war still. That would complicate things, wouldn't it? Uh, if I take this, I'll get a coalition firing on me. If I don't, well, who does that add? It adds Sesteronde and Napes Bay, which honestly isn't going to make the coalition fire or not. That adds too many people. So I just don't take the Seon. I take our Esta for myself. I take, like, max money, and I'll skip out in the war apps. There we go. 
We can core that on up. And we will finish off with Seon at a later time. Will not be too big of a deal. Ruby Hold wants some money. I'll give it to him. And now we have this sweet, sweet vassal right here. That uh, we'll be keeping for a long, long, long time. Like, I don't know if we'll ever really need to annex them. They hold land that I can't do much with, but they can. Like this hold right here. Like, they can dig this. I cannot. There we go. We can go ahead and get a royal marriage with our vassal. We can revoke some... Uh, or we can see some land. And that should also make people more loyal. So there we go. Things are looking good here. We're 36% of the way done with our current integration. Bring our guys back. We have too many relations. Yeah, I mean... Okay. Whatever. So be it. Uh, let's go to the mages. And we're going to say, hey, buddy, buddy old pals. We need to host a magical feast. Yeah, go ahead and do that. Because we need people to like us a lot. And right now, they do not. And that is a problem. It's a very, very big problem. We're going to go ahead and upgrade these centers of trade here. All of them that should help us make a little bit more money. Viacock has raided our coast. A bottle point. Okay. Interesting. Where is... Uh... Whoa, that is not what I meant to do in the slightest. Uh, where is bottle point? Yeah, it's down here. They're raiding this stuff. Don't like that. Don't like that at all. Uh, let's unmuff all our heavies, and we'll set those to... Uh... Start hunt pirates. Looks like they can just barely... Darn. Uh, let's put them out here. I'm going to have to deal with uh, these guys then. I don't know how I'm going to do that. I don't have a CV on them. But if I can get one, it'd be great. All right, nice. So Indraliande has now formed a colonial nation. This right here is a part of a different colonial region. People have pointed that out in the comments. I looked at the trade map mode. Oopsies. But for now, we will put this as a self-governing colony. Now, self-governing colonies have more liberty desire. But they get increased... Uh, well, I thought they got increased d -d 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 settlers, but it doesn't look like they do. What about private enterprise? No. Brown Colony gets global settler increase. Okay, well then we'll just stick with the Crown Colony. Yeah. Well, they get an additional colonist is what they, what the self-governing. Okay, well, we'll go for that. And that completes a mission for us. Oh, which one? Let's go down here. Establish a proper colony. So we have taken the first steps towards the settling of this land. However, a proper colonial body must be put in place so that we may more effectively extract wealth from it. 15% global tariffs. And then the center of ruin. Uh, we need to own... Me or my subject needs to own a province in the Colonial Isles region. And I don't know who does. Ah, so... I don't know who does. Why, I do. It's right here. Duh. I literally just said that. Like, I don't know. 30 seconds ago. Uh, the Ruin Cliffs are massive cliffs in Andreliande that appear to take a semi-circular shape. At the center of this circle, there are numerous islands which will clearly be central for trade in the continent. We must secure our place there before the limited portions of land have been occupied by others. So for 20 years, we gain plus 5% settler chance and plus 25 global settler increase. Very nice. Now I need to move into the Trolls Bay, which is over here. Uh, the new Red Glades. I need to own a province in the Blood Groves region. Okay. Well, I can do that, kind of. I can just send them right here. That'll work. It's a little spot that we can, uh, can sneak in there. Okay. So with our money here, Halfly Minister, I'll uh, moderate increase. Let's go ahead and start to improve with neighbors. Is there anybody that I can sell? Oh, there is. Uh, Westmores and Anvinland will both actually accept knowledge sharing. You will offer me 0.78 and you will offer me 1.64. Telgier will offer me 0.73. So pretty obvious which one we go for. The one that gives us the most money. Uh, Eskin is... Well, the orcs are doing pretty good. At least over here. Um, Siren Bar is already formed. That's kind of scary for these people. It doesn't really affect us in any way, I don't think. Uh, I don't know why it would. I don't know. Maybe they they ally someone that we need to go to war with. Beats me. 
Uh, if he died right now, we would get a succession war between me and Sagamer, which I would very easily win, I would like to think. All right, we are making tons and tons of money, which means we need to do a couple of things. One, I need to increase my trade fleet. Like, our trade fleet is pitiful, to say the least. We've just had other priorities and haven't had enough money, but we are finally in a stable enough position where I can afford to build them. I am going to also build three more heavies, just so we, you know, have some kind of naval dominance of some kind. Uh, sure, you want access? That's fine. You can have access. Native Uprising. Oh, right. I forgot about that. We're going to have Native Uprisings now. Uh, how long till I finish this? It's still a long time. So I'm going to send this colonist and then I'm just going to I'm going to switch our colonization policy over to Native Coexistence. Because I cannot afford to uh, do anything else. Yeah, I'll take the free Diplo power. We will take the extra merchant, which will be very, very nice. Uh, did that just complete this? I think it also just completed, uh, the Ioriel... I, I still don't know how to say her name. I'm gonna just go Ioriolan Renaissance. Ioriel has set the precedence of all courtly manners. We are entering a new age of the civilized world, and Laurent will lead it. Plus one yearly prestige. So we have an additional merchant now. What do we want to do with that merchant? We could pull trade from the Dragon Coast. We could start pulling trade from, uh, Andreliande. Uh, let's do that. Let's let's see how much we can get out of here. Because right now, uh, a lot of it is just, it's going everywhere because no one's pulling. So if we start to pull trade, we should, yeah, get all of it. So that's an additional four ducats, probably about three, that we're actually actively bringing into this area. Uh, that was another colony completed. I'm pretty sure it was stalwart outpost here. So let's just start uh, finding some high dev land. That's five. We'll send you there. Uh, we also need to get a new explorer as well, as we do not currently have one. Uh, lots of ships in here ready to go. Let's bring them all in. We can meet up. You are my explorer ships. Let's make sure we are actually exploring the ruined sea coast. There we go. Things are looking better. Let's protect trade. Probably in our home node. Make sure you get an admiral of some kind. We go from 64% control to 67. That's not really great, to be honest with you. Um, the reason why we don't have total control here is because of my vassals, for the most part. I, I can't demand their trade or they'll be disloyal. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. Well, that was a quick exploration. Kind of disappointing, in all honesty. I suppose I should have explored more of the Broken Sea first. All right, they got an heir. Unfortunate. I would have liked that personal union. That would have been very nice. All right, our truce with Reveria is up. We could start our Golden Age. Uh, no reason to yet. The age is not yet ended. And that's mostly our fault, to be completely honest with you. Um, we need three troops over here. So let's send three over, because we need to start exploring Aelin tier. This is not something we have currently done. Also, not taking attrition, just standing here. We should either be low maintenance or drilling. Should never just be standing. That's literally just a waste of troops and money, both of which are bad. All right, let's send these three, two, three. You guys will head on over to Alentir. I do not need to influence you anymore. Sayan enters into a trade league with Rubyhold. That's fine. And good luck. Send them all the way over to here. Then we'll have to hire an explorer. And with that explorer, we can do good things. Here, we go. here are our heavies. And let's start to drill. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. Things are looking good for us. Now, mission tree. What do we need to do? Why do I have a truce with Wex? I don't know. Did I put my dynasty on their throne? I think I might have. That might have been it. Uh, continue to explore, please. Broken Sea Coast. That's up north, actually. Not where I thought it was. Uh, right, I want to take a look at our mission tree. So, we need to develop in that province right there. I will take the money. Thank you. Wedge declares war on Vertesk. That's fine. 
Let's uh, let's actually do that. Which province was it that needed it? Right here. Let's go ahead and encourage development. And we can put a couple of military points in and such. What are we looking like for tech? Very far ahead all in military, but our admin and diplo are a little bit behind. I'll take that prestige. Thank you very much. All right, so we'll develop that as time goes on. Uh, Royal Mage Ascendant, I need to have a university in the capital. That will happen over time. Obviously, we do not have the technology for that yet. So we will not worry about it. Uh, Ruin Sea, Western Broken Sea. I don't know where I want to go. Northern Thaw, I know, is up in here. Uh, sure, we'll go there. I think it's over back here, though. So, that's right. We're mostly just doing this so we can see things, but also we can get that sweet, sweet naval tradition. I do love naval tradition. Well, I mean, it's not all that useful most of the time, but, like, when you're a colonizer, it's good. Not that I think we're going to have many problems with uh, colonizers, like, com competition-wise. Uh, I do not have a claim on Reveria. That was a bit of a mistake. Let's go ahead and do that. Unless it will interrupt my truce with Lysaeon. No, actually, we can shorten it a little bit. Not a whole lot, but a little bit. Our general has died. That's unfortunate. Let's spend another 50 points to uh, get a new one. Wow, he's trash. But I have to do. Don't want to spend any more points than that. Uh, Adventures defeat bandits. Awesome. Some free population. Uh, dwarves are more than welcome to migrate around. I don't care about that. I like the dwarves. We'll get some more global settler increase. That'll be nice. Make those colonies go a little bit faster. Save us a little bit of money. All right, we have a thousand. We have a thousand crowns, so we need to spend it one way or another. Uh, production buildings. We have a couple that are decent. What about taxation? Oh, those two are all right. And trade. Yeah, anywhere that there is a trading port i would like to do well, i mean i'll even cancel that there uh where else do we need one cancel you oh, they actually already had them oopsies uh, where else do i need a good old trade it's so hard to see like i know that this is supposed to be like from from i don't even know how to say that like that's not worth it that's not worth it Old Port, though, that is definitely one near us. Is Coppertown one? I know where Coppertown is. It's up here. Somewhere. It is. Yeah. Let's go ahead and build a trade post there. That's a trade post. That's a trade post. All right. I'd rather not fight those guys, so we'll just... We'll let them be a little mad. That's fine. Reveria, get the claim. Oh, they're out with West Wars now. That's right. We can just get money off of them when we go to war with Lysaeon. No problem with that. You want money, that's fine. Desires of the flesh seems that people are not being loyal. It's all right. We will just take the prestige hit. Uh, just keep exploring, please. Just keep exploring. Foreign cost has died. I would love, 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 love for you to be integrated, but I simply cannot yet. Cannot happen. And the other day, in one of my games, in the base game, I actually inherited a vassal. Because they had my dynasty. So that was cool. That doesn't happen too often. But it is possible. Uh, you set that same dynasty and a royal marriage and it can it can happen. But it is not common. Alright, lots of money again. Uh, those. Just start upgrading centers of trade. At least here. We can start pulling a lot more down. Oh right, I totally forgot about our guys. Ah, uh, Alright, here we go. So you guys need a conquistador and start hunting for fragments of precursors. We have to find like the the thing from that shows that someone is dead or something like that. I don't know. I don't think I've ever like done it myself. I usually just let the AI handle that, but that's kind of our job considering that we're an early colonizer. Uh, we're below 49 power projection. That is not allowed. I have no possible rivals, so. There is literally nothing I can do about that. I have another colonist I can send. Oh, no. That one already finished. Uh, Sure, let's grab this island then. Start getting to the Ruined Isles. No, Boostalar, I will not be sharing my maps with you. 
Not gonna happen. That does mean that they went colonial, which is not uncommon. A son of Buslar usually does. Unpopular mathematician? Yeah, I'll take prestige. And legitimacy, but mostly the prestige is what I want. Uh, cool. Soren likes me more. That's fantastic. And now the question is, we're here. We're at 99%. Do I give the nobility the noble integration policy? It will make everybody else more disloyal, including Sorenkos. But I will not lose the uh, the diplomatic reputation, which means I can just go into integrating the next vassal. Now, I don't know. I don't really have the uh, governing capacity for that, but that's okay. I think we do it. I think we do. It'll make you disloyal. It'll make Duran disloyal. It doesn't matter, though. Because Duran gets automatically annexed here. Perfect. So now, I can go ahead and state all of this. I don't care if it takes me over the limit. That's a very good state. No way I'm going to pass up on that. Uh, we also have another mission fulfilled, which is the new Red Glaives, which means I own a province in this region. Uh, we have found a beautiful land, one in which the natural foliage is crimson colored. This is a similar to the Red Glades, the land the Elf Loreal Uriel secured for her people under the Rose Banner, and it is under the same banner that we too shall control these forests. Plus 20% settler chance and a permanent claim on the Blood Groves region. Awesome. Uh, I need to own 10 provinces here now. Well, that might take a little bit more time. Just a little bit. And I think we go and we start integrating the Stormcast. We will have to uh, improve with them. We'll have to make them loyal. Whatever. Wow, they just spiked up in loyal or in uh, disloyalty. That was weird. I don't know why. Uh, Red Glades is definitely not helping the whole balance of power thing. Uh, do we take idea? Yeah, we'll take the idea. I really want this Diplo rep. How are the points looking? Points are okay. Though I think I'm going to keep that admin focus for now. Do I have a Diplo rep advisor? I do. He's level 3. But we'll we'll hire him. Buslar wants money. Oh, sorry, buddy. Sorry, right, Buslar. My bad. All right, we are getting there. Oh, goodness. We are way over our uh, growing capacity. Way, 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 way over. Everybody's loyal, though, right? Yes, so I can go ahead and take that. Well, I can either... Let me just build these, I guess. Let me just start that spam. I don't really want to sell titles. Again, that'll make people very mad with me. I'd rather not have my vassals very mad with me. Uh, let's continue to explore. Sure, just wherever you want to go. Uh, we do have some more troops now. That's pretty cool. Let's bring them over. We also have more boats. Uh, including three heavies, so let's send those home. And I guess, yeah, also the transport. This fort, not all that useful. We'll keep it, though, just so we have something over here. Because every time you go, ah, oh, that fort's not going to be useful. That's exactly when you're going to need it. That is exactly when you're going to need it. And then they're going to land troops here and they're going to siege everything. It's going to be annoying and terrible and painful. And we can upgrade our government rank. Perfect. We're an empire. So now we don't even need the, the buildings. We're good. Now I could state more. Uh, I won't for now. Now we do have to um, be cautious. Because we uh, are going to lose a lot of land here. The halflings are not going to be thrilled that we are ruling over them. And they may be declaring independence at some time. Uh, quest for the birthplace of the Empire. As more and more minds have begun to look west, we have been scouring what few documents remain from the Remnant fleet for clues of what of that might take on new meaning now that we walk the land of their forefathers. Though most is useless, we have seen one symbol crop up place to place. A strange diamond-like shape. What this is, what it means, we cannot know. But it is a clue worth exploring further. Yes, go ahead and explore for those fragments. Do the things. That is what we must do. You guys continue to explore. Uh, we could take military tech early and get innovativeness. 140 days. Is that long enough to take it after the year tick? I don't know. I don't want to do math. Uh, It's going to be close, but... Yes, it will be, as long as I take it on the first. So I'll slow time down just to make sure I don't uh, 
done goof here. Oh, uh, sure, we'll go that. Oh, we're gonna have to recast that spell. Right, eight days. One day left. So we'll take that for innovativeness. Thank you very much. Uh, we are gonna start increasing our corruption though, so that's gonna be a problem. It's going to be very, very unfortunate. Uh, our army of Thorn has stopped exploring. There's nowhere else to explore. What? You're nuts. There's so much to explore. There is literally so much to explore. Like, look. Look. You don't need access. Since when do you need access? When I play as a freaking, like, someone in Alien Tier or, like, North America or whatever in the base game, uh, they're like, oh, yeah, we're just going to walk through your entire freaking country, man. It's like, what? Why? Why are you allowed to do that? That should be illegal. Whatever. Ooh, that's farmlands. Yeah, go ahead and settle that. Uh, Marital Bliss. Go ahead and get that loyalty. Thank you very much. Draliande is expanding. That's good. How is our aggressive expansion looking? It is actually looking all right. Pearl's Edge is uh, kind of big. I lost the Magisterium. Okay, never mind. Ooh, but the Magisterium did take out Ammon Cost. Ooh, okay. Interesting development there, that's for sure. Get the Fort Defense guy. All right, and now we can start the integration process of Sword Cost. How long is it going to take? It takes uh, about 11 years. Not too bad. Not too bad. I know there were a couple people that pointed out, they were asking, why aren't you annexing? Why aren't you annexing? Well, here we are. We are annexing. Ooh. Learning from the mistakes of others. Kylie in the sixth. The seventh. That's that's definitely a seven. Uh, has always considered it is a virtue to listen to the advice of those that came before him and to surround himself with experienced advisors. It worries him, however, that Reuben might not fully realize what ruling the rent entails. At some point, this is a responsibility that Reuben will have to shoulder, and at that time, it would probably be best if he had been more thoroughly introduced to the challenges of rulership. So I can spend points to gain, uh, like, a permanent point in our air. Well, yeah, obviously. I'll go for war. Fantastic. It's a 444 air now. Uh, but the mural of Casteller has been leaked. While we have tried to keep our discovery of the mural of Casteller a secret, it appears that someone, perhaps one of the adventurers involved in the initial expedition, perhaps one of our scholars, has leaked and sold a very complete catalog of the information found at the temple complex to the Order of Chroniclers, likely for a hefty reward. They, in turn, have promptly printed and released our official documents and rubbings of the murals to scholars across Kanor, and despite our best efforts to prevent the information from spreading, uh, it is moving like a wildfire through the scholarly halls and elite circles of Halkan. In Laurentane and Goetan and Bencost and Selmaldor, and even in the ruins of Castanath, the rumors are starting to swirl. The Precursor Elves saw Castellos die and wrote down what they saw, so we would know. We lose one civility. Well, that's rude. Why'd you have to go and sell that? Okay. Whatever. Eight islands have been completed. Uh, let's start to grab the centers of trade here in the islands. Those, most of the adventurers are already here. Uh, who wants a royal marriage? Stormcast does? Sure. House of Solorial is shaken. I'll lose that legitimacy. It's fine. Uh, have I embraced the institution? Yeah, I have. Okay. For a second there, I was like, wait a minute. Uh, we may want to go to war with Vanille. If I go to war with Vanille, and I fully annex them, I can inherit their colonies. I know it's not the mission tree. I know we're supposed to be elf lovers. And then I know that if they, uh, well, if they decide to leave, like if they get their colonies up and rolling, they'll give us the provinces for free. Well, I don't know. Let me know what you guys think down below in the comments. Should we go after Vanille? Should we just annex them and steal their colonies? Uh, I mean, what better way to protect the elves uh, if we own their stuff? Mm -hmm. Yep, yep, that makes sense to me. All right, we got grain going. Our little guys are not able to explore anymore. So we're going to bring them back. Uh, somehow. Not sure exactly what it's going to entail. Uh, let's pull off of improving with sword cost and... When is our truce with Lysaian up? It is up very, very soon. 
Who am I going to have to fight if I declare on them? That will determine if we do it now or later. Uh, once again, I forgot to set a timer. So I have literally no clue how long it's been. So it does feel like we are getting towards how long that it should be. Uh, let's move up into position for the war at least, just to get ready for it. Yeah, I think that is where we will call it for today. Next time we'll finish up Lysaeon and we'll take a bunch of money from people. And our aggressive expansion is at the point where uh, we may be able to take a couple more things from a couple more people. Maybe we co-belligerize uh, BPEC. I don't know. We'll wait till we get the claims because we'll get a claim after taking this. So we'll see. We'll see. Uh, I would like to thank you all for watching and I hope to see you in the next one.